Good morning, Kentucky meteorologist. Still a good day here with a live look on our Hicks and Funson Kentucky lawyers camera. Experiencing uh, some of that low visibility here in Lexington. It's not widespread, but just enough where we can't get a crystal clear view of the skyline here over downtown Lexington. 63 degrees right now here in Lexington, though. Uh, so temperatures are still remaining in the low 60s. We were expecting the mid 50s, seeing that in the northern Kentucky. Not as much here in Lexington. There is patchy, dense fog out there as we've been talking about all morning. Um, some areas reporting less than a mile of visibility. And here's a great representation of kind of what we are expecting. So Franklin County, a little bit cooler, mid 50s. You've got that fog laying right at the surface into some of those valleys at the uh, Mesonet site there. Pulaski County, visibility is pretty low there with temperatures in the low 60s. Rowan County, not County, not seeing quite as much fog there, but you are experiencing some more dense cloud cover into those areas. This is another look at the Clays Ferry Bridge. This is looking from the Fayette County side now. Notice there is some low vi lower visibility, particularly once you get into Madison County across the river. So if that's a part of your morning commute, make sure you are alert that uh, you could be running into almost a blanket of fog sitting right over top of the bridge. We've seen that at times this morning. So areas north and west of Lexington with clear skies. We've got cooler temperatures there. Mid 50s for Frankfurt, Williamstown, Flemingsburg. The rest of the region with a little bit more cloud cover. We're into the low to mid 60s. Viper radar currently uh, still showing some very light rain showers into eastern Kentucky, but that is really not too much to worry about. Looking around the region, again, today is our break. I know we do still have a very low risk of maybe a shower or a rumble of thunder or two late this afternoon into your early evening. Vast majority of us will be staying dry and won't be a concern for most areas. So future cast timing things out through the rest of the day. Once that fog fades, we'll be left with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Temperatures by lunchtime, mid 70s. Later into the afternoon, again, there's a low chance we could sneak in some uh, very isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two. Overall, today is going to be dry for most areas. Overnight, there is an isolated shower and storm chance, but the bulk of the rain won't be moving in until you're mid to late morning hours on Friday, and that'll continue through the afternoon. There will be some pockets of some heavier downpours. It's not going to be raining the entire day, but there will be waves of showers and some rumbles of thunder on Friday. This uh, does exit Friday night into Saturday morning, but another round of showers and thunderstorms can be anticipated for the day on Saturday. So for today, not expecting much rain at all, but tomorrow, that's where we'll see more scattered to widespread showers and thunderstorms. Widespread half inch to an inch with pockets heavier than that once again. Futurecast wants to keep southeastern Kentucky a little drier than everyone else where we're seeing that blanket of a half inch to an inch plus. This weekend though, Saturday is still looking unsettled. Scattered uh, showers and some thunderstorms. Sunday though does look drier, just an isolated chance of some lingering showers. Monday, Tuesday, dry stretch, but it's going to warm up as we get that southerly flow returning before more unsettled weather middle to late next week. Today though, mostly sunny with a stray shower or storm possible late 79 degrees. Tonight we're going to fall into the low 60s. Isolated showers, maybe a rumble of thunder or two overnight, but the bulk of the rain and storms won't be moving in until your Friday, Saturday, lingering showers and some rumbles of thunder. Drier though Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and we warm up back to the low to mid 80s by Tuesday.